my outside condenser fan was intermittent and I had a tech come out and look at it. He diagnosed it as a fan motor. Uh, replaced the fan motor and it didn't fix the problem. So uh, I pretty much had to go online and ask some people and they told me what to look for. So I uh, figured it out. So first thing to do is um, turn your circuit breakers off for the outside unit. Um, <clears throat> So first things first, uh, you just take the uh, condenser fan motor uh, off just the screws down here, it pops out, <clears throat> and uh, you can flip it upside down. First thing you want to look for is bad bearings in the motor, and uh, it'll come out, uh, it'll lift up just a couple millimeters or so, but um, any side to side movement is bad. And uh, it didn't have any side to side movement. Um, so uh, the next step is to test the, uh, the actual windings of it. And on this motor, there's uh, three wires um, a black, a brown, and a yellow. And they come in here, and the uh, brown goes to the uh, run capacitor, excuse me, the start capacitor. The uh, black goes to the defrost board here. And then the yellow goes also to the uh, capacitor, to the common um, plug there. So anyway, you just take the three wires off. You just follow them. They come out of the hole there in the outside unit and take them off. And you get the three there. And you get your uh, multimeter. But this is a Harbor Freight. It was cheap, 30 bucks. Uh, might be hard to see. Hopefully you can see it. You put it on ohms, and uh, you basically want to make sure the, the three add up, make sure there's no short in the system, and you do that by just taking the, uh, tonics here, it's hard to do this with one hand, I'm going to put the cell phone down, hopefully that works, you just go like this, Hannah, here, this is the uh, the defrost board one to the uh, the common plug, and I get a reading here on the uh, multimeter of about 125 ohms, and do that with the other winding, get a reading of about 45 ohms. All right, so 125 and 45 together is uh, roughly 170. So then you do the two here, and it should be around 170. And hopefully I can hold it together here and show you as I do this here. So there's the multimeter, about 170. So uh, the windings are probably good. Um, so you're just kind of narrowing everything down here one at a time. Uh, then you select the uh, microfarads. And you're going to check the capacitor. And uh, the, uh, the capacitor will have written on it the reading for it. In this case, it's a, it's a 5 slash 35 and what that means is the 5 is for the fan and the 35 is for the uh, the compressor also marked uh, Herm on the cap so you've got a C common a Herm for the compressor and a fan uh, so what you want to do is just take your multimeter let's say put it in microfarads and test between the two uh, so you just put your multimeter uh, there that's common Trying to do this with one hand. Common to the fan, and it should be roughly five, as I said. So here you go. There's, it's hard to see. Five. Got it. Common to the compressor, which doesn't matter because this, in this case, it's the the fan that was messed up. Should be around 35. And it's within 6% is the 
the tolerance. So uh, that's printed on the cap. So it's 36. So that's within um, the uh, six percent. So it's probably not the cap. Uh, this is actually a new cap. The other one tested around 30 between the common and the compressor, so I replaced it because uh, it was a little bit out of spec. So then, um, then the next thing is uh, pretty much the only other thing that goes into this is the defrost sensor, and uh, that's what he missed. Um, so the defrost sensor plugs into the defrost board here. I know it's blurry. Sorry. Uh, on this particular compressor or condenser, I should say, and it uh, just goes in here. You can see it as the pink wires right here, and it just basically senses if the coils are frosted up, it'll send a unit in the defrost, which what that means is it'll stop the outside condenser fan. Well, that was pretty much what was happening. So, um, to test that, I've actually already, this is the old one, cut it out, and I just stripped the wires down, and you go to, um, Ohms again, and there's a. I don't have access to the service manual, so uh, typically I, I did find a generic chart for uh, another type of compressor, and it was uh, saying that it's basically temperature dependent. Um, there's a specific ohm reading, and for the outside temp here, it's around 30 degrees uh, C here. We'll go to the U.S. measurement here, <laughs> around 90 degrees. Um, if I remember correctly, it should be somewhere in the 6,000 maybe range. I don't really remember exactly, um, but so this should be around 6,000. So we'll test it. Yeah. Sorry, gonna loop it around. Put it on. Ah, Christ. Yeah. Okay. So I just kind of looped it around like that. And uh, we should get a reading here. Not sure why we're not. Uh, 